In its case against Dönitz, the prosecution attempted to show that the Admiral's submarine tactics violated the rules of war by calling to the stand one of his U-boat flotilla commanders, Carl Müller. And what is your name? Karl Hans Müller. Will you repeat this oath? I swear by God. I swear by God. The Almighty and Omniscient. Dem Allmächtigen und Allwissenden. That I will speak the pure truth. Dass ich die reine Wahrheit sagen. And will withhold and add nothing. Nichts verschweigen und nichts hinzusetzen werde. You sit down if you wish. Carl uh, Heinz Möller, do you hold the rank of Corvettenkapitän in the German Navy? Jawohl. Yes, sir. And if you served in the German Navy since 1930? Jawohl. Yes, sir. In the autumn of 1942, were you head of the 5th U-Boat Flotilla? Jawohl. Yes. What were your duties as commander of that flotilla? My main duties as flotilla commander consisted of the outfitting of U-boats which were to be sent to the front from home bases and giving them the orders of the U-boat command. Had you any special responsibility to U-boat commanders in respect of the orders? Jawohl. <coughs> Yes, sir. It was my responsibility to see that outgoing U-boats were provided with the new orders of the U-boat command. Uh, had you any responsibility in explaining the orders? Die Befehle der U-Bootsführung waren immer sehr klar und eindeutig. The orders of the U-boat command were always very clear and unambiguous. If there were any ambiguities, I used to have these ambiguities cleared up myself at the staff of the commander-in-chief of U-boats. Now, do you remember an order in the autumn of 1942 dealing with lifeboats? Jawohl, im September 1942 Yes, in September of 1942, I received a wireless message addressed to all commanders at sea, and it dealt with that question. Are you familiar with the way that Admiral Dönitz normally worded his orders? Jawohl. Well, yes. In my opinion, the order need only have read like this. It is pointed out anew that the rescue measures have to be discontinued for reasons of safety for the submarines. This is how I think the order should have been worded if only rescue measures had been forbidden. All are you are you saying that if it had been intended only to prohibit rescue measures, it would have been sufficient to refer to the previous order. Jawohl, das hätte genügt. Yes, sir, that would have been enough. From your knowledge of the way orders were worded, 
Can you tell the tribunal what you understood this order to mean? Der Befehl besagt, nach meinem persönlichen Dafürhalten. The order meant, in my own opinion, that although rescue measures remain prohibited, on the other hand, it was desirable, in the case of the sinkings of merchantmen, that there should be no survivors. Would you care to say why it is that you are giving evidence in this case? Jawohl. Weil der bei meiner Verhaftung gegen mich erhobene Vorwurf der Urheber dieser... Yes, sir. Because when I was taken prisoner, it was claimed that I was the author of these orders, and I do not want to have this charge connected with my name. Lord, the witness is available for examination by my colleague. Uh, does any counsel for any defendant wish to ask the witness any questions? Richter Kranzbühler für den Angeklagten Großadmiral Dönitz. In welchem Satz des Befehls sehen Sie eine versteckte... In which sentence of the order do you see a hidden invitation to kill survivors or to destroy the rescue facilities? In dem Satz... In the sentence... Just a second, I shall read to you each sentence of the order separately. Very well. I read from the document D-630. One, no attempt of any kind must be made at rescuing members of ships sunk and this includes picking up persons in the water and putting them in lifeboats, riding capsized lifeboats, and handing over food and water. These are absolutely forbidden. Do you see it in this sentence? Nein. No. Colonel Fillmore, do you want to re-examine? When you got this order of the 17th of September, 1942, did you take it merely as prohibiting rescue or as going further? Mir fiel beim Empfang dieses Befehls auf, dass when I received that order, I noticed that it was not entirely clear as orders of the BDU normally were. One could see an ambiguity in it. You haven't answered my question. Did you take the order to me that a U-boat commander should merely abstain from rescue measures or as something further? Ich habe ihn aufgefasst als ob er irgendwie weiterginge. I took the order to mean that something further was implied. Only it was not actually ordered, but was considered desirable. 